Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a life hack uh, involving your survival tent. So honestly, there's not really a lot of background or anything I need to say about this. It's pretty straightforward, so let me uh, just kind of really get right into this. Um, I'm down here at uh, where the Scorch Beast Queen event usually takes place, and uh, what I want to kind of show you guys is what you can do in an event where, you know, you're really over-encumbered, you got a lot of stuff on you, maybe scrapping items or putting your your uh, your scrap in your scrap box isn't going to be enough. What I'm going to do here is just show you a quick little way that you can kind of cycle between all of the survival tents, because in the new scoreboard here, if I can, uh, if I can get there fast enough, we have a new survival tent. It's going to be the Nuka-Cola Sheet Survival Tent, and it comes with a new ammo box, well, the new ammo box, and it is the first survival tent we've had that comes with said ammo box. So what you can technically do is, let's say that I'm I'm done with the Scorch Beast Clean event, I throw down my survival tent, right now I have the lean-to one, which uh, has a bed, it's got a stash box, cooking station, and a scrap box, but it doesn't really have anywhere for me to, like, scrap weapons or deposit armor. What I can do is have a survival tent like this, I'll go to my scrap box, throw my junk away, uh, and now I want to, you know, get rid of my ammo. So what I'll do is I'll go in here to the atomic shop, and I'll go to the Fallout First tab, and cycle through here, and I should be able to find my other survival tent. So, let's see if I can get the, there it is, the Nuka-Cola one. So I'll press A on that, and that basically just equips that one. I'll go back into the game here, and I will throw that one up. That one disappears, and now this one is here, and I can go around back here and throw all of my, you know, unwanted ammo into this little thing here. So let me get all that in there. There we are. So there's my ammo now deposited, and I will go back to the atomic shop. And I'll go back to the Fallout First tab, cycle through here again, until I find one that has a scrap bench. I can equip that one, and then I'll throw this one down. Walk in here, oh, well, if it will load. <laughs> Walk in here, and start scrapping all the, the weapons, or the armor, or whatever I need. And yeah, this one has both a scrap box and a stash box, you know, or a, a junk, well, the scrap box and a, uh, a workbench, I should say. So maybe I don't have to put down the lean-to one, but you know, it's just kind of a way that you can cycle through the different survival tents that you have. Maybe the ones that you have uh, don't have a bench, or don't have an ammo box, or don't have a scrap box. So Something like that. I, I don't know. But this is just kind of a nice little life hack. Uh, maybe you guys didn't really... Well, how should I phrase this? I think everybody realized that you can change your tent in the Atomic Shop, but at least for me, it never really clicked that I could, you know, cycle between them that fast. So, uh, I'm sure this is obvious to a lot of players. Maybe it's not, you know, the best life hack in 76, but I figured that it would be uh, something nice to kind of show off to you guys, and I'll definitely be doing this from now on. So, this is all I had today. Kind of a quick little easy video. Um, I'm not really expecting too much out of this, but uh, I'm pretty busy today. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to make something for you guys, and there you have it. So, uh, again, uh, not only is this kind of a nice little hack to get, uh, you know, all your stuff down after an event if you're over encumbered, but the other little note I want to say is that the new Nuka-Cola Sheet Survival Tent does come with an ammo scrap box. So, uh, if you didn't know that, now you do. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.